Hi Jing Mowers, welcome to another Tech Talk Tuesday. So the detail in Chen Star Tai Chi Practical Method, it's all about don't move. Don't move means we only get to rotate. Let's take a look. Aha, uh -huh. okay, good. So just remember there's only a positive or negative circle in, in the form. So start with me. One. So here, I've started a positive circle. See that? Can you see the positive circle there? And it is at 45. So everything's at 45 degrees. So start one. And now turn. That's it. Step up. Step out. Shift over. Finish the positive circle. Yeah. Front. This here is like a negative circle. If I wasn't turning to the side, I'm doing this. See negative circle? So here, negative circle. Step up. Fist in palm. See? Open palm. Down the wrist. Ah. When we first, that's good, do that again from here. Open. Down. When we first learn, we're going to pivot from the elbow. But now I think you can start thinking about create the axis here in the middle of your arm. So you want to pivot around that. Go. Keep, oh, yep, don't leave it, don't leave it. So that's the point there, go. Elongate the body so that you, you have to stay there. Press that down. That's it. Can you feel that? Yeah. So once you go down, then what happens is your hand has to go out. So when you go down enough, there is nowhere else for it to go except out. Yeah. Then in. One, two, three, one, two. Hold the arms now. Swing around at 45 degrees. That's okay. Press. One, two, three. Hold. Hold the right hand. Turn the right foot. That's it. Step out with the left foot. Shift over. Now stretch this right hand out. Now left hand should be here at your chest. Yeah. And now bring it up. Positive circle. Out. That's it. And now you pick your middle finger and stretch that when you close. There's no pinky. You tuck all the fingers in. That's it. And there's no wrist. No elbow. That's it. So here to there, stretch them apart equally. That's it, good. Take your hand, one hand, press down on your chest. No, no, top, top here, down. Press down. Yeah, that's it, good. Take it back out, don't move the body. That's it, exactly. So now you've got the right shadows. Concave and stretched out. Okay, good, relax. So when, <clears throat> when I was first learning, I did this a lot because our natural tendency is to open the chest. When we open it, you see what happens to my head? I start tilting backwards, which means I start doing this. Okay, so in, in the experience of it, that's what will happen. In the martial sense, what I want to create is a concave mirror. So any power that comes towards me, if I imagine this four and a half centuries ago and it was practiced as a fighting art, not saying we don't do that today, I'm just saying imagine yourself in that position then when someone big and strong, like six foot two, mountain of a human comes running at you, if you try to use force against force, the physics, mass, is just gonna run you over. So how does Tai Chi help? Tai Chi helps because I'm gonna teach myself how to maintain my structure, create a concave response to everything. So when the hand, when the power comes in, I'm actually gonna do that rather than this and I have to use my chest to try to bounce them off. Okay, so that's the psyche. We're a long way off from learning the application but you still have to think about it because that's where the purpose of the movement is. Otherwise, I, why do I sink my chest? Well, there's no reason. But now I understand the reasons. So I want to create a concave shape and when you hold your hands out, so hold your hands out and you go convex throw the chest out like this is where it wants to be feel what that's like okay feel the relationship that your body parts have yeah and now concave the chest 
and now feel the relationship those body parts have. So go convex and then concave. And convex and then concave. It's more contained. It's yeah. More like together. Exactly. Yeah. Everything on its own part. That's right. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're precisely right. So when I have a concave shape, everything is individual into pieces. And then it's relied upon my muscular structure, strength, to be able to hold me together. <clears throat> so therefore it makes perfect sense to me that when we have individual parts, we feel like we have to get stronger. So we build and build and get bigger and thicker. But that analogy for me is like, if I took a piece of link chain and I tried to make it into a stick, then I'm going to have to bind it, bind it, bind it, bind it, bind it, bind it. I bind it so much until it, it is rigid, but it's so big and it's so bulky that I can't, it's no longer useful to me anymore. It becomes very obvious when I swing it around. So what I want to do is create a piece of link chain that is like a stick. And how I do that is create a stretch between the two pieces. I don't need any binding, I just keep stretching it. So if I can hold that stretch and I can use it by stepping, thrusting that stretch, then I've created a relationship between the link chain. So it's one piece. That's what we want to do with our body. It's one piece. And when it's one piece, then all I have to do is walk. It's like if I held a broomstick, right? All I do is walk. You, there's nothing you can do about that except walk backwards because it's going to propel you, right? But if I've got a piece of link chain and I start throwing at you, then it's only as effective as the mass and its momentum. You see? Right, so that's the analogy. That's why we, we're constantly looking to create a structure and a relationship between the body. The principle in Tai Chi is called yin-yang separation. Yin-yang in this sense meaning opposite sides separating. So in this movement, single whip, that's what I want to do. And creating that concave shape, dropping the chest is the linking bit. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's try again. Let's do it again. So step back. One, two, positive circle. Three, pull in. Four, step out. Five, shift over. Six, finish the positive circle. Seven, eight, nine. One, two. Remember the pivots in the middle. Three, four, five, six, Seven. One, two, three. One, two. Hold the top, move the bottom. Four. One, two, three, four. Turn. Five. Hold the top, move the bottom. That's it. Six. Move the bottom. Now hold the bottom, move the top. That's it. That's it. Stretch the parts. Very good. So what did you get for yourself? Share in the comments below. I'd really like to hear from you. Let's get back to it. See ya.